Hey everybody, it's Mark Heil, and I'm joined by Jeremiah, one of our authors. Introduce yourself. Sure, I'm Jeremiah Dylan Cook. I'm a horror writer, and I'm excited to be a part of this Kickstarter. <laughs> All right, well, why don't you tease us a little bit about your story, and maybe read a little bit of it too. All right, so uh, my story is, we'll say, a little bit inspired by uh, Cabin in the Woods, with with some aspects, which is fun. Um, there are a lot of Easter eggs to different horror things that fans will like. Um, my daughter was recently born, born and her name is Claire. And I got the name Claire from the Resident Evil franchise. Um, even though she's not directly named after a character from the Resident Evil franchise. Anyway, as a result, I was throwing a lot of Resident Evil Easter eggs into my stories that I was writing while she was, uh, before she was born. And this story was written just a little bit before she was born. So there's some fun Resident Evil Easter eggs. And uh, so with that set up, I'll uh, read this first paragraph. Um, that'll be the first paragraph and the first sentence or one sentence plus. Awesome. So <clears throat> I clutch my trench coat tighter around my slinky blue dress when I realized my exit from the dark alley was blocked by a tall man with eyes like burning coal. His ensemble, a black top hat and suit, looked like it had come straight from the Victorian era. Behind him, Bleecker Street offered the dim light of closed businesses, but no pedestrians due to the late hour. The stranger took one tentative step closer, but we remained separated by the length of a subway car. He leapt into the air and closed the distance between us in a single bound. And so I, that's a pretty good description of the monster uh, I chose. I don't know if we want to reveal that yet, or if we're going to leave that up to the audience to read the, read the story eventually, but... <laughs> Yeah, let's keep it a little tease. Let's all right. Tease. <laughs> um, all right, great. So, you know, this whole anthology is monsters, of course. Um, I mean, what are some monsters in folklore, myth, or fiction that are some of your favorites? Uh, I think I've written, I, I've not published about Mothman, but I love Mothman. I have one story that I wrote that is really, really gruesome with the, the Mothman. Um, <laughs> I love that one. Uh, originally for this anthology, I pitched uh, a uh, Headless Horseman story, so I love the Headless Horseman. Um, but I think I mostly love him because of the Sleepy Hollow movie, because I, I love that movie as a kid. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of other monsters, Loch Ness. I mean, I, I grew up in the you know late 90s, early 2000s, and I feel like monster shows were just everywhere on Discovery and History Channel. So I, I pretty much love them all. I can't, you know, I'm a, I'm a big Cthulhu guy, but he's not like that kind of, you know, he's not this kind of monster necessarily, but I do love, I do love me some Cthulhu. Basically, if it has, if there's a monster, I like it. I, there's not many monsters I don't like. <laughs> Is there a monster you don't like? You well, one. there isn't a specific monster I don't like, but I will say I am not a huge fan of the trope in a story or in a movie or whatever, where, you, you know, the, the monster is presented as a, a monster for like 75% and then at the end you find out it's just misunderstood. Yeah. Um, I thought. Like, I think like Frankenstein is an example, like he's, he's a monster that's misunderstood from the beginning for the most part. So that doesn't bother me, but like Cloverfield, for instance, or not Cloverfield, sorry. Um, super eight, super eight, that one really bugged me because I was really enjoying this cool movie about a monster. And at the very end, it's like, it's just misunderstood. And you're like, well, the, everything it just did, like, I'm not scared of it anymore. And, and all the people it killed, I'm conflicted on now. And it's, it just confused. I like, I like my monsters to be evil and monstrous. <laughs> that's just me. <laughs> All right, so um, everybody, you know, please check out the Kickstarter. Is there a particular reward that you're happy? With? Actually, you have some reward offerings, don't you? Oh yeah, I do. Uh, so if you guys, if if anyone's interested, they can uh, uh, pick the award where I will edit one of their stories for up to three thousand words. So I'm a, I'm a, I have a lot of fun with editing, and I have a pretty good experience because I run uh, a website called NewPulpTales.com. And I'm the managing editor of that. So I do a lot of editing for that. So I should have some good feedback for you. I'm uh, pretty, pretty nice. I think I, I really go to my way to be really nice about my feedback, even if it's so my point is you won't get like ripped apart, but I will do my, do my best to improve your, improve your approach with, by we'll be, with while being nice. <laughs> there'll be red lines everywhere and be like, well, what are you doing? <laughs> there may be, but they'll say, Hey, you're doing fine, but here's how we can improve. <laughs> cool all right um so where can you kind of tease it a little bit with 
your magazine, but where can everybody find your work at online? Uh, the best place to find my work would be jeremiahdillancook.com. I have on the, uh, read my work page, uh, everything I've been, I've had published recently. Um, and uh, since the pandemic actually, which is weird, but since the pandemic, I've had a ton of publications like, um, before 2020, I was, I had, I think maybe four or five. And then since then I've had like 13 and I have this one coming out in the near future. And I have, uh, another one that I'm really excited about. That's based on, um, horror and rock and roll and David Bowie. Cause I love David Bowie. Um, and that's coming out in the near future. And I just had a, a Western one accepted. So anyway, all those links are on my, uh, website. And if you go to my website there, the landing page has a bunch of stories that I have that you can read or listen to for free. So, cause I've had a lot of stuff or four, three, four stories from the no sleep podcast. And two of those are completely free. You can just go to the website and listen to them. So nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. And, uh, and, uh, hope everybody checks out the anthology. Yeah, please, please back it. I'd love to see this. The story is great. So I can't wait to see it out in the world. So, all right. Bye everybody.